so I'm waiting on Michelle to shower and uh, just a little state park tip. If you want a little bit more room, go to the handicap stall. They have like a, a booty hole washer and a wang washer for like people in uh, wheelchairs. And it's nice to have that extra uh, warm water on, you know? But we're on to today, it's a, about a four hour drive to, uh, what's it called? To Shady Lake Recreational Area. And then we're gonna stay two days there. And then we're gonna say, look at that, y'all. For the first time this trip, we lost our jams, but the GPS is still working. And we're in hardcore hill country, barely any houses or anything. And we're in the Washita National Forest. And here comes a sign, I don't know what that says. What's it? Albert, Albert Pike, Pike. Little Missouri Falls. Recreational, but it's, it's closed, remember? Until spring. Oh, at a gas station. I feel like this is where they film the Hills Have Eyes. I'm sorry umpire arkansas if you're a viewer from arkansas we're just used to a little bit more uh how you say stuff around but yeah this is definitely hill country we liking it and uh it's it's beautiful a little sketchy to drive. A, little, a little sketchy it's nice seeing all these creeks what's the name of this one honey uh blocker creek blocker oh that was beautiful crystal clear blocker creek all right, let me turn y'all off so we can drive and bullshit since we ain't have no jams. Well, I, I can whip out my harmonica. No, please, God, no. I will dump you on the She's side hating on the harmonica. Washita National Forest, y'all. Thank you, Dome Life, for shooting videos here and making me want to come here because I never knew about this place in my life. Oh, so Dome Life's been in yeah. Lake? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that, babe. Athens Big Fork Trailhead that way. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at the walking. Yeah, that must be part of the trail. This is awesome, huh, babe? This is, this is this pretty, is something. pretty mint. Look at the little lookout. Oh, it's, a, it's a waterfall. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay, a waterfall. Good. Because I was worried with the no rain. <laughs> well, a mud puddle was a waterfall so far. Look at a limestone or, or sandstone or some sort. Interpreted trail? In what? Interpreted trail. <laughs> Look at the pretty stream. Oh, I see dead wood. That's a plus. Yeah. Even if I got to hoof it. Amphitheater. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So we went to Athens Deli right up the road and got some Texas toothpicks and some other fried food. And uh, we I got to yakking with her because I'm a people person. And she moved here from Dallas to middle of nowhere, Arkansas. Seven years ago. Seven years ago. And um, we got our gazelle back up. Oh, about to fall. We got our toilet tent that we may use, we may not use. Because there's vault toilets back there with running water. But uh, here's a beautiful view of the lake. And there's some squirrels rustling around. And uh... Tomorrow I'm going to show y'all some of the stream. It was real nice and i seen some fish in it. Maybe I'll try some fishing. And I might do a mile or two on the east. So we're just chilling y'all. Uh, painting rocks. Enjoying nature. We ain't got no cell signal so it kind of forces you to be <laughs> readjusted with nature. We got a fire going back there. It was humongous. Mm -hmm. I told Michelle not to but she, you know, she got to have a big fire. Mm -hmm. But uh for a math teacher she's pretty good with a brush you know so but yeah this is probably how the rest of the night's gonna go we're just gonna chill and tomorrow i might do like a three mile hike and michelle's gonna kick it and uh yeah that's how uh shady lakes recreations went so far so day two out here or day one 
Day, day two. Day two after night one, I cooked some bacon and sausage and some pancakes, which I could have cooked a little more. And uh, last night at about nine, we started seeing sprinkles, so we hurry up, hopped in the tent. And it must have rained hard, soft, sprinkle, hard, soft, sprinkle, and lightning till maybe six to seven this morning. But I got to give it to the gazelle. She held up and the walls were wet, which happens with our breath no matter what. That's a single wall tent to condensation gets you. But, you know, with the hard ass rain that was coming, it, it performed pretty damn well. So, yeah, I got to give a... Uh, a plus in rain preparedness i don't know what you would call that but yeah it wasn't even that cold last night we didn't sleep with no thermals and uh we just slept in a double sleeping bag and not in our mummy bags inside the double bag but tonight yeah tonight it's already as cold as it was last night and it's only 11 o'clock in a day and that ball of fire is up in the sky so right now y'all i'm out to find the um the Shady Lake Trail Trailhead, which the guy who oversees this camp said it's a little bit over three miles. And you see that ridge and it goes like this and does a full circle of the lake and comes back, bam. I just need to find the trailhead. Right now the cold's kind of getting to Michelle. She's sitting in the car, it's uh, mighty windy. So I generally stop and talk to everybody. They've been nice. And uh, they were trying to find the airplane crash. He kind of gave them the general whereabouts and they said you had to climb a steep, steep mountain. So. Tall Peak Trail. Let's see. Oh, I don't feel like getting my feet wet. <laughs> All of these are pretty stiff challenges with the elevation gain that we're not used to. But maybe they said at the top, maybe I get a little cell signal. So I get a call out to my dad, see what's happening. Dead leaves everywhere. Then I hope to double back around and see the big, uh, Waterfall. Already got a little bit of elevation gain, y'all. I just got to keep my head on a swivel to keep following the blazes. Whew. I'm warming up. Yes. It points across this. I'm just trying to see where the next blaze is at. And I'm not trying to get my feet wet. What is cool little rock formation. I'm still trying to find a place to cross. This ain't the day to get the shoes wet. Think right there. Using the tripod to help me get across the rock, y'all. So. Oh, shit. Okay. Nope, deep water. Oh, god damn it. I think I'm good right here. How 
hallelujah for uh for semi waterproof shoes hi i'm across hi challenge succeeded on to the trail i ain't gonna lie uh no cell signal no gps you really don't know where you're at gives me a little bit of the willies but what is life if you don't challenge yourself at stuff so here i am oh oh i see the next blaze excuse my breathing this is all uphill get some downhill and this is more like it oh 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 Whew. still no cell signal i was checking I wanted to geocache around here, but if you ain't have no cell signal, no GPS, I guess no geocache. <sighs> right now, I'm hiking like him. Alright, y'all, had a snack, drank some water, played on my phone, and uh, now it's time to get back on trail because I'm getting cold. Time to get that sweat back going and warm up slow view uh, the mountains hills mountains what's the difference between a hill and a mountain y'all there's one rock and one's mud hi right, another little switch back with your uh, blaze then i can spot the blaze right there i would have rolled down the hill and y'all would have laughed probably hurt myself but uh yeah back on trail man shit cool little rock thing let me add mine to it look Okay, boom, out of my rock. Spiritual man. What is an interpretive trail, y'all? Maybe someone who's a little bit more knowledgeable than me will let me know. This is shit, y'all. Look at that crystal clear water. And the trees. I'm glad I didn't bring Michelle's camera with me because when I just wiped out and flung my GoPro, I would have smashed her camera and she would have divorced me three weeks in. Hopefully not, but I don't want to take that chance. That's why I left our DSLR at camp. Nothing like a little road walking for the spirit. Now we're like on a road on side the hill. Don't want to fall down there. May not get back up. Y'all may laugh. This is beautiful. Y'all must be tired of hearing me say that, but this is uh, out of my wheelhouse. And it's got me sweating, working up a, a good sweat and a uh, good sleep easy tonight. Because last night, with the rain and everything, and lightning, I didn't go to sleep till late and I had trouble sleeping. But Michelle, on the other hand, when I had hit the pillow, she was snoring. But, uh. The whole time she's worried flash flood warning which i understand we're in the valley but it rained hard off and on soft it was it wasn't like a eight inch rain yikes don't want to fall down there bro but yeah hopefully tonight i get a good sleep tomorrow we'll pack our junk up and then we'll head to kasachi national forest instead of beeline into the camp y'all i'm doing a little bit of a road walk backtracking to the road we came in so y'all can see this nice waterfall that they got oops sorry y'all we'll have to see it when i uh when we're leaving tomorrow because my legs feel like jello and it's up and downhill kicks my ass so yeah sorry y'all but y'all see it in a vid i guarantee you cool ass waterfall up where we go oh, on the way back to camp y'all just exploring enjoying a beautiful day hi i consider this a done deal ow that hurt i'm back at my shady lake sign so yeah tight done i like it whoop 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 
Thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and check me on the next adventure. Peace.